O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, the reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops, all the apostles of prayer, and in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. That seminaries, especially those of mission churches, may form pastors after the heart of Christ, fully dedicated to proclaiming the gospel. Refuse not, O most sacred heart. Refuse not the graces we implore so persistently. We shall not cease until we have heard your sweet response. Go, daughter, your prayer has been heard. How can you refuse us, you who bestow your graces on all? How can you reject our petitions, you who are so easily moved to mercy? O oh Mary, the dearest of all mothers, your heart is so tender and loving. Speak to Jesus for us and obtain for us the graces we ask with so much insistency. Heart of Mary, assist us. Heart of Jesus, hear us. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place my trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday, May 16th, and it is a D-Day. There is an AP exam today, and it is world history. Good luck to all those taking it. You'll nail it. No worries. Last weekend, we found out Mrs. Nolan and Miss Laurentius were retiring next year. They've each served a tremendously long time at CJ and impacted countless lives. As we say goodbye to them, let's remember everything they've done for us over the years. How would you feel if you had walked through these doors for over 25 years? How would it feel to walk out of them for one last time? looking at all the windows, the one picture frame that you walk into every day talking about Christ. Miss Nolan, um, she, was, she was great. I actually happened to know her because she taught my children in grade school. And when she came to Creasy, she um, came and was doing the musical. Well, when I first started, uh, I was the drama director. I actually replaced Mrs. Bolt when she left to have her first child. And so I was here for six years and uh, did, directed all the plays and all the musicals, did the speech team and taught acting and, um, you know, all the speech classes and things like that, the fine arts classes. That was a wonderful, wonderful time of my life. I still feel uh, a great sense of uh, love and connection to all those girls back in the day. In fact, some of those girls work at Koryezu today still feel a lot of love and connection to them. There's probably, there's about six of them here at Corieza that work here that I taught. Um, so I have great memories of that, the first six years. Um, so I knew her from our parish and then she came here and the kids just loved her and she's extremely talented and been in musicals herself since she was in college. So it was great having her and then she left and then she came back as an English teacher and then she had a baby so she loved, and um, and then she came back as a guidance counselor. So we go back a long way. Corius has been part of my life for 26 years and 30, if you count, when my daughter was here. So to actually really leave and not come here every day after that long of a time was a little bit of a difficult decision. But um, but I think it's the the right time. While I still you know can do my private practice and things like that. I'm going to teach myself to sleep in in the morning, and um, I'm going to still work in my private practice, and um, I'm going to work at St. Anthony's, like I am doing it, working at St. Anthony's for about 10 years. I will miss Miss Nolan's caring, her generous spirit, and her willingness to help anyone who is in need. Oh, gosh. When Miss Nolan leaves, um, I think there's going to be quite a void because she has an amazing sense of humor and a sense of compassion that I have never seen before. And I think 
when she's gone, it's going to be a little bit quieter. It's going to be a little bit less vibrant. <laughs> I'll, I'll miss the... the joy and the spirit of the girls. And uh, the wonderful colleagues that I've spent so many years working with. Um, but that's why I'm going to keep coming back to visit. <laughs> I'll miss the people, for sure. We have another teacher leaving, and she will be retiring for the second time from the Corriezu community, Miss Laurentius. I will miss her ability to have great discussions, to bring up wonderful topics, and to help us see how we could improve the curriculum for the great students that we have. Well, Jane's been here um, a, a long time, shortly after I came, and um, she taught my daughter when I was here, and we've just always had a really fun relationship. Jane and I've always kind of played with words, and so that's kind of a, kind of a fun thing that we do together and um, just kind of share stories when we've, like I said, you've known the one, someone that long and have been at Creative that long, you just have a lot of memories. So just really, really enjoy working with Jane. And she's one of the best teachers. Um, and the kids have said that when they've gone off to college, what they've learned from her has been phenomenal. The friends I've made here, um, just the pleasant atmosphere that's here, uh, the camaraderie, the, um, the opportunities for collaboration, uh, the challenge. Interestingly enough, Miss Laurentius taught me when I attended Corriezu many years ago, and I have had the pleasure to work with her again um, as she is my teacher mentor um, at last year when I started here. I definitely remembered her as a teacher just being very um, emphatic as a teacher um, with what she was presenting. And I even remember certain words and phrases just because um, she took it very seriously. But it wasn't just the subject matter. You know, she took her, her job with the students very seriously. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Uh, when I came here in 1988, I was a younger teacher who was looking for an opportunity to work with young people who really wanted to learn, who were motivated to learn, to work with parents who cared about what their kids had learned, and I found that at Corriezu. I found a place that gave me um, a new take on teaching, a new take on learning, and definitely a new take on my own spiritual life. And I thank Corriezu for that. We really appreciate what you both do for our school and you will definitely be missed next year. We have a special schedule today. First period is from 8.10 to 9.35. Second period is from 9.35 to 11. From 11 to 11.30, everyone has first lunch. Third period starts at 11.30 and goes until 12.55, and fourth period goes from 12.55 to 2.20. From 2.20 to 2.40, please meet in the gym for the Stuco inductions. And finally, like most of you, we're already in summer mode, thinking about vegging out on Facebook and video games. And speaking of video games, we saw this on the web. People in Brazil are taking video game playing to a whole new level. Residents of Brazil's bustling financial capital, Sao Paulo, are being encouraged to slow down and enjoy some retro video games on a huge scale. The facade of a cultural center has been turned into a 3,000 square meter screen, where passers-by are challenged to play classic games, such as Pac-Man, Tetris, and a specially created version of Space Invaders. It was a lot of pressure. Everyone on the street was watching, cheering, but it was really cool. The international group of digital artists behind the exhibit, entitled Play, said they wanted to showcase the video game art of the 1970s and 80s, as well as encouraging people to take a moment from their busy lives to enjoy themselves in the city centre. The exhibit was supposed to finish on Sunday, but it's proved so popular that it's been extended for an extra week. That's all we have for CJTV today. Have a wonderful Thursday and enjoy your final one and a half days of classes.